Good afternoon, Bray Colin here with TechOut. Today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 12 Beta 3. Um, it was released on Tuesday, um, about two days ago. I'm a little late on making the video. I wanted to try a couple things out. Um, I have had all the betas so far, Beta 1, 2, and 3. So far, Beta 3, I think, is going to be the fastest beta we've seen yet. Uh, beta 2 is kind of iffy. Beta 1 was pretty good. Um, but it looks like most of the bugs that we saw in Beta 2 were fixed in Beta 3. There was one bug that when you logged out of Twitter on um, an iOS 12 device, I want to say it was on 12, point, um, or 12 Beta 2, uh, you would not be able to sign back in. You would get a blank sign-in screen. That has been fixed in Beta 3. Um, I don't know if that was a Twitter issue um, or a compatibility issue with the beta or something within the beta itself um, with that login screen, but it was only happening in the Twitter app. That has been fixed. Battery life is pretty good. Um, I have not plugged my phone in since yesterday at 11.34 a.m. It is currently 12.20 today, so it's been unplugged for about 12, about 13 hours. Um, there is my usage graph right there. My screen on time is 3 hours and 46 minutes. So I haven't been using my phone a ton. It's been on standby a lot, but I have been using it pretty constantly um, today. And as you can see here, we've got some pretty good usage right there. But battery life on all the iOS 12 betas has been really good. Um, noticeably a lot better on beta 3 though. Once I've updated to beta 3, I've been able to get almost like two days of usage out of my phone. Just using it for you know a couple hours a day, stuff like that. If you're going to be using it heavy, heavily, obviously you're going to have to charge it more. But so far, um, battery life on beta 3 has been excellent. I haven't noticed any bugs or anything like that so far on beta 3. It's been pretty smooth. So I do think once we see... Um, the public release for it, the public beta for it, you guys will be um, pretty good to update, no issues there. Um, really looking forward to see what beta 12, or beta 12, iOS 12 is going to look um, like when it is released publicly. Um, for the full version, um, it should be a really nice smooth OS. Um, sorry I'm getting over a cold, but it should be a really nice smooth OS and I look forward to seeing what it brings um, because the betas have been tremendously reliable um, and the experience has just been wonderful. It doesn't even feel like you're using a beta. Um, I've been on a couple of pu cu uh, a couple public releases of 11 um, and 11.3, 11.4.1, 1, stuff like that, and iOS 12, beta 1, 2, and 3 all, all um, have just blown that out of the water. They have been much faster, smoother. Um, we're not seeing that kind of beta stutter that we saw in all the iOS 11 betas. Um, everything has been running very fluid and nicely, so that is pretty good. Um, not too many more features in beta 3. They've just refined some of the bugs. I think there were 30 some bug fixes that were fixed in beta 3. Uh, I think there's about 50, uh, 20, I think it was either 20 or 50 bugs that remained according to the log, um, but they're small stuff that, you know, we won't really notice in day-to-day -day usage. So it's still definitely able to be used for a daily driver. This has been Colin with Tech Out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And have a great day.